Guys, today I wanted to just really quickly give you like five or so brief tips if you are a beginner to the gym or you're deciding that you want to go to a real actual factual gym soon and you've never been before. My very first tip is that you absolutely do not need to go to a physical gym to get into fitness, to get healthy, to build muscle, to do any of your goals. I have a video I put up a couple weeks ago all about my home gym essentials, basically different tiers, things that are catering more to budget and minimalism and low space, like things like that that are avoiding the gym if that's not something that you want to do. Second tip, so I've worked at a couple different gyms, I've worked at I think three, <laughs> and I want to tell you regardless of pandemic, regardless of anything, wipe down the machine before and after you use it. It is, has been a rule, rule very loosely. Uh, every gym that I've worked at that you need to wipe your machine down when you're done using it. But I can tell you as an employee, most people don't. They sweat all over it, they touch it, they move things around and then they just leave. And it's disgusting and then I try to come around and wipe it before anybody else uses it and sits in somebody else's sweat and germs. Just as the ultimate precaution, if you do wanna go to a gym especially this year, wipe it down before and after, just to be totally safe. Third, this is kind of the biggest complaint that I get from people that are wanting to go to a gym but they're too nervous to, is they say that I think everyone's going to be looking at them and judging them for being there and not knowing what they're doing and blah blah blah. Number one I can tell you is that pretty much everybody thinks that, so they're all too worried about themselves to really worry about other people. The second thing is if somebody is actually giving you a little bit too much attention, uh, giving you judgmental looks, anything like that, then they're just a piece of shit. There's no other way around it. Everybody at one point was a beginner to the gym and didn't know what they were doing and had to work their way up to the level that they are now. So if someone that is like elitist and goes there for three hours a day every day for like the last six years and then sees you come in and wants to judge you, ignore it. They're a piece of shit. <laughs> My fourth tip is be prepared to spend a little money. So. I worked at Planet Fitness for a long time, and as you know, that is $10 a month. And what they don't generally tell you, I mean, they do an ad sometimes, is that there's a startup fee. Sometimes it's only a dollar, sometimes it's only 25 cents. Um, it just depends on when you go to start up. Sometimes it is like a lot more, like 20 bucks, 40 bucks. Um, and then there's also an annual fee that you pay, which is $39.99. So feasibly, at the lowest rate, you could do like um, 25 cent startup fee. $10 a month, and then one annual fee of $40. That is so inexpensive. So inexpensive. If you've never been to a gym before, and you think that that's a lot, I have something bad to tell you. It's different per gym, of course, and it's different per training style. Like if you go to a CrossFit gym, they might be more expensive. And I see things a little bit differently about like people's hourly rates, for example. So, um, I would say a fair hourly rate for someone who is really specialized in what they do is like 160, 170 an hour, right? So I would, um, like if I'm getting a tattoo and they say that my rate is 160 per hour, I'm like, sweet. You know what you're doing, you value your time, I value your time, you're getting that and a tip, right? I try to see it that way. A lot of gyms are around the range of like 150 to 200 a month and if you have like a trainer working with you. I worked out in CrossFit Gym for a while before the pandemic and I think that my my monthly bill was um, at just about 170 a month and that was with, I could go there um, unlimited times during the week. I usually went an hour a day for five days out of the week and then I, the coach worked out very closely with me the whole time. I was always like monitoring my form and encouraging me and telling me what to do and he programmed everyone's workouts. Like that was such a good deal. So you got to think about it that way. The price may overwhelm you, especially when you're not used to it, but if you think of what you're actually getting, it's really not that bad. And if it's something that you're still worried about, if you see $10 like a month if you want to go to Planet Fitness or like Crunch Fitness or something and you're seeing that as too much then maybe start off a little bit 
differently in your fitness journey and start with just like calisthenics, body weight movements, do everything that you can do in your own home and then maybe buy some dumbbells and do everything you can do with that and just work your way up until you're like, okay, now I really feel ready to invest this money in my health and fitness. But there were tons of people that would come up to me at Planet Fitness and they would be so livid about the price. Like, I can't believe it cost that much. And that's how I could immediately tell that these people had never been members of gyms before um, because that's really cheap. And if you wanna go somewhere uh, like Planet Fitness, Maybe that's a great option for you. As a gym beginner, we kind of cater to gym beginners, being that our price was so low and then they had the judgment-free zone thing going on with the lunk alarm or whatever, which I... Not a fan of that. I thank God never had to ring it myself, but... Yeah. If you are someone who is gonna go there consistently, and really take advantage of all the equipment and all the things that they offer and then only pay $10 a month. That's a pretty sweet deal. So it's great for beginners and then again, no one in there is gonna judge you. They literally get in trouble for judging you. So if that's like a real problem that you are afraid of, maybe try some place like that out or Crunch or I know there's a couple that have sort of that same philosophy. And my very last tip, and this is gonna not really go with the other ones, but when you go there and you have a workout planned out for yourself, try not to bounce around all the machines too much. I can pretty much guarantee you that when you want to go to a certain machine, it's not going to be open. And especially if you're someone that likes to do like supersets, you don't want to be that person that's hogging two machines at once that's kind of like unfair to other people. So um, even though I uh, personally, when I was going to um, a standard gym and not a CrossFit gym, I like to create like circuits for myself. Would do a certain amount of sets and reps and then I would go to the next thing, go to the next thing and then come back and do that a few times, which is a great style of training, but it's not great in like an actual gym because once you come back around, someone's on the machine that you wanted and that's just how it is. They have every right to be there. I would caution you to program your stuff in a way that is very flexible and assuming that maybe you can just snag one of the machines that you need and stay on there, do all your sets and reps, all the stuff that you wanna do. And if you really wanna superset, maybe, uh, well first check with your gym's rules and maybe you can take some dumbbells with you into that area or maybe you can pick two machines that are right next to each other or go at a certain time. Then there are places like at Planet Fitness, we had a chart that you could get that said like our busiest times to our not busiest times. You could kind of calculate when you wanted to come in and if you come in during a not busy time, then really the world is your oyster and you can do whatever you want. For most people, we can't come in at like 4 a.m. Like you, maybe you get to swing there after work at like five, which is the busiest time. So you gotta be prepared for every eventuality. So just instruct your training in a way that is gonna benefit you the most if the unexpected happens. And of course all the other stuff, you know, bring a bag with you that's got like extra clothes and water and a lock. A lot of gyms have lockers, but they don't have locks, so you have to bring your own lock. And just keep yourself safe, stay away from people, wear a mask, do anything that the gym is asking you to do to keep you and their employees safe. And yeah, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you got some good information out of this. And yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.